Hi everyone. I hope that all of you are really doing great. So it's been a long time like I have came back with the regular videos, right? So my last video was about 2 months before and now 2 months have passed and many things have been changed like we have crossed 1000 subscribers and now almost it is going to be crossing 2000 subscribers, right? So it's because all of your love and support. Now in the middle I I was not putting videos, right? So there were some reasons but whatever the thing may be i am now back with the regular videos like how i posted right so keep supporting me so that i can put regular content and videos like what you are liking right so in today's video what we are going to see is like how we are going to host our react js uh, web application uh, so that other people can view it right like hosting the react js website you can say on firebase now firebase provides us a free uh, hosting service uh, uh, with a limit like 10 gb right so we can host it easily our react js website there uh, i'll be showing you all the process like how to host it uh, right so that we can host our react js website now if you have not checked out uh, how we can install and set up react js in our P uh, local machine or you can say pc or laptop right so you can watch that video also i will be giving the link right in the description box or it will be given at the i button right so the first thing that uh, we are going to do is like create a react app and after that we will go inside that react app and then we will perform all the commands to host it in the firebase right so first thing is uh, open uh, your terminal so i have opened the terminal now here uh, i will be creating my react uh, uh, js app uh, in this folder so i have opened it in my terminal you can follow the previous steps right uh, like in the previous video as i have shown you so uh, in this folder i am going to create my react app so the command for creating the react app is uh, simple npx create react app and then we have to give the name so i will give uh, test app test app right and i will hit enter now uh, once i do this thing it will perform all the things so i will uh, click y so that it want to proceed with it right so it will proceed it will create a react app so it will take a little bit of time as i have also showed you previously so i will be uh, fast forwarding this part right so that we can jump into the main part so as we can see that uh, our uh, react js app has been created so right now uh, i will be opening this in my code editor and that is the vs code right so to open it uh, as i uh, showed you so you can do code and dot so uh, i want to open first of all the folder like the react app right so i will first uh, go inside that one so i by mistake i did that one so uh, you have to do is uh, give cd and then the app name that you have given test app right so it will uh, get in the inside the test app react app folder right and after that uh, we will give a code and then dot right so it will open the react app in our vs code right so you can see that uh, this side node modules and all the things that are basically included in our react app the src and all these things right so uh, first i will go in the terminal section and uh, i will go in the new terminal right so i'm closing these things yeah so if i show you the index.js so yeah this is the react app right basically you all know this thing right so now uh thing that we have to do is uh, first let's see that uh, whether our react app that we created just now is working or not right so i will uh, give so i will give uh, npm and start right so it will uh, start in our local host the react js app right so to see it also you can go in the chrome means it is opening you can see the local host 300 so yeah you can see that uh, this is the default react app right so what is provided now i am not going to modify anything i will simply modify uh, this one so that it will be easy for you to understand that we are doing the things right so let us uh, modify a part so i will go in the app.js right and here uh, let me give my name right right so i have uh, given uh, a little bit of text right so i have modified this one so now if you i am closing the terminal so now you can see that uh, this thing is uh, coming perfectly right the thing that i have modified now what i am going to do is uh, i will be showing you with hosting this one right so i will be hosting this react app so i am removing this symbol it is 
showing error because we can't give that one right so yeah so now uh, what i will do is uh, i will be hosting this react.js application in our firebase right so to do that thing first of all open a uh, uh, go in the chrome and uh, first go firebase and uh, search firebase right and now if you have not created an account in your firebase so first of all uh, log in or you can do sign up with the uh, firebase uh, with your google account right so that it will create an account of your firebase and once you have done uh, you can uh, simply go here like go to console so it will take you to the console right and now uh, here you can create uh, your firebase project so first uh, we have to do is create a project so that in that project we will be setting up our react application that we have been building right so i will click on add project and uh, once you give that one uh, you have to give a name of the project right so uh, here i am giving it a test app because i am creating it right and uh, the unique name also you can uh, change it right so this is coming right so i am giving this one and uh, after this one uh, click on this one i confirm that i use firebase for this one right and click on continue and now uh, you can uh, click on continue and then you have to select the account like through which account uh, you are going to create this app right so i will select uh, my personal account right so and then click on create project and once you do all these things it will be setting up the project for uh, like you can do many things like not only for react app you can do android and other base projects also uh, the hosting part that i will be showing you is a part of this firebase like uh, which firebase provides us to host our websites you can host static website also if you want i will uh, make a video out of that also like how you can host static website in firebase this one is a react one like which is not a static website but uh, you can also host the static website in firebase also right so you can see that uh, the test app is being done so click on continue right so it will take you inside the project that is test app that we created right and now uh, inside this side on the left hand side you will see on the navigation bar there are uh, hosting you can see this one right so i will go in the hosting directly and uh, once you come in the hosting part you will see get started so once you click on get started uh, we are using node.js right so we will copy this one this is a uh, line we have to write so and uh, then i will uh, come in the vs code i will go in a new terminal right and now you will, i will be pasting the thing that i have copied from there right now what is this thing if you want to know so this thing is basically we are installing the firebase tools plugin or you can say that we are installing the firebase tool right like whenever we include a new package in our react website uh, you know that we have to do it through our node package manager right so we are doing the same thing right we are uh, taking the firebase package right so uh, paste it and hit enter you don't have to uh, get deeper into this thing for the hosting purpose only right and once you hit enter it will uh, perform all the things like it will uh, fetch the package and it will uh, do all the things that are required right so let it uh, do all the thing and let's just wait for a minute so now you can see that uh, the thing has been done right so uh, let's just come again into the firebase and uh, you can uh, click on next after this one right so now what you have to do is you have to log in in the firebase like like uh, the account which you are having you have to also log in through the terminal also right so that in the vs code you are you will be logged in right for this react app so i will copy that one again and now you can give firebase commands so you will do firebase login right so just simply copy and paste that one and uh, just wait so it will uh, ask for something click on y means yes and hit enter now it will open uh, in the chrome browser itself the account that which you want to sign in for the firebase now keep the account same like which you're having for your firebase right so like for mine uh, this it's this one so i am selecting this one right and after that one click on allow so that it will perform your firebase cli and it will see means you will see that it has uh, showing that whoa firebase cli login successful right so it is now done so if you come in your vs code you will see authentication successful and your email id will also be showing here right so this means that it is done and after that uh, the command that you have to give is firebase in it means you are initializing firebase like as we did for github also if you remembered i don't know that one if you remembered for git also we have to initialize it for it first so for firebase also we have to initialize it first so we will be giving the command firebase in it and i will hit enter 
so now firebase will be initialized for our react js app so you can see that uh, this firebase is coming and now you have to click on yes why and now the thing comes is you have to choose for what purpose you are using firebase now we are using firebase for our hosting purpose for this video right so you have to come down for hosting right and don't go for github actions deploy because we are not going to do with github we are going to do it manually right uh, directly so config files hosting and option github deploy so come in this one and after once you come here don't hit enter remember my words don't hit enter hit the space bar so it will be selected now you can see there is a star option coming here so that means it is now selected and once you click on the space bar after that only you have to hit on enter so it will be chosen the hosting we have selected right and now uh, it will uh, come the option so let me make it a bit bigger so it will be clear right so yeah now uh, the option you have to select that uh, we user we are using an existing project create a new project and this thing so we have already created a project right in the first first only right so we have uh, selected the first one hit enter right and now it will show you all the uh, projects in your firebase account so what we created was test right so this one test app right test app ratio so this one we have created so we will be selecting this one and hit enter so once you come into this step uh, what you have to do is uh, you have to give build so i will simply write build and hit enter because uh, once because what is the build file whenever we create our react app and whenever we deploy it or we run npm run build so in that case a build folder is being created where all the static things are being put so we are going to host that build folder right in the firebase so for that you have to give here build and once you give that one uh, so it will ask you that configure as a single page app right so we will simply give it yes and hit enter so set up automatic uh, builds and deploy with github we don't want with github so click on no and go on right so we are all done with our firebase now firebase is being set up perfectly for hosting our website right but uh, we have not created any build folder right so for that thing what you have to do is we have to give the command npm and then run and build simple build command right so sorry build right so what is this build uh, this will create uh, means it will merge our react app and it will create the static pages so that our react app works perfectly and which are which we are going to host in the firebase right so after giving this command hit enter so it will take a little bit of time and it will create the build folder for us so it is creating so let's just wait and uh, in the meantime come here we have done all the steps so the last thing that is firebase deploy so once the build is being done we will simply so you can see here also that build is done right so the last command that is firebase deploy right so i will give here firebase deploy right so this is the last command that we have to give so that we can host our website react.js website in firebase so hit enter so it will take a little bit of time and it will host the website successfully in your firebase so you can see that it is uh, saying deploying to uh, the project we created so you can see the percentage also here and you can see also the build folder has been created firebase is being initialized and all the things are done right so hosting has been completed deploy completed right so now we have successfully deployed our react js website within few minutes in our firebase and that's also free of cost right so uh, once you are done with all these tips steps you can click on continue to console so it will take us to the console of our hosting in our firebase right and now you can see that we have deployed currently at the present time right so that is what we are done with so now if you want to check that one you can uh, go with any of the domain names that are provided by default so you can come and you will see that the thing we created is now hosted at a public domain right so this was with our local host but this was means this is in our firebase hosting right we can also change our domain name we can add our custom domain and all the stuffs and now uh, let us say that you want to make some changes to your react app like say you have hosted i have hosted currently right and now you want to make some changes so for that also you can perform it so like uh, if i want to add some line 
uh, like the video and uh, share it to your friends right so i have made some changes right and now if you come into the local host so you can see that it is coming subscribe to my channel for more videos like the videos and share it to your friends so this is coming in the local host right but not in our uh hosting like where we hosted in the firebase it is not coming right so now let's say you have made some changes and now you want to host it again means you want to deploy it again right so i'm giving a comma here yeah so now you want to host it again means you want to deploy it again so for that case you have to run two commands first command is npm run build so it will create the build folders of the new modified things that we have done right so it is uh, creating a build one first so let me uh, let's just wait for a minute so you can see that it has builded right the new build has been created and once the new build is created you have to give only the one command firebase deploy firebase deploy so once you give this command it will deploy the new build folders to our firebase so you will see that the same thing again will be working it is going to deploy so let's just wait a minute and uh, it is done right so the thing is being done you can see deploy completed and now if you come uh, in this one so you have to wait for a minute so first uh, let us if we refresh in the firebase you will see that uh, the the two times we deployed it will be showing that one first so you can see that we have deployed once again right so previously there were 17 files right so and the current one is this one right and if we refresh it here let's just see that uh, whether it has modified or not so you can see in front of uh, right in front of you it has been modified that we have done right so that is how we can modify deploy and the whole process and setup is done all right so that was the today's video and one more thing that i am telling you if you don't want the previous deployment you can delete it because uh, it takes empty space uh, which we don't need right it has been the same copy pasting thing so you can delete this one also the previous one keep only the current one right so that's the better method method uh, you can follow right so if you refresh it nothing will happen the same things are there right so that's it for today's video uh, i hope that you have uh, gained a lot of knowledge how you can host your react.js website uh, in firebase at free of cost right like you are creating a project you can host it simply here uh, and there is a lot of space also and you can also add your custom domain and all this stuff so that's it for today's video i hope that you have enjoyed it so if you have enjoyed the today's video uh give a thumbs up right so that and also share it to your friends like uh, those who are working in this exciting project in react js right so you can also subscribe to my channel if you are wanting to support me and also if you want to get the latest uh, videos and all the stuffs that i will be providing so you can subscribe my channel also right so that's it for today's video and i will be meeting you in my next video till then bye bye have a great day